Hey guys, Kristen here with Find Your Balance Dog Training. I am out walking with the mini pups, Josie and Pepper. They are back for a little training tune-up to work on all of their great skills that they learned with us during board and train. And as you can see, the girls are doing fantastic. One of the things that I look for on the walk when I'm walking two dogs is the outside dog I like to be um, staggered slightly behind the inside dog. So we have Miss Josie in the outside dog position and she has started being a little pushy on leash at home. So what I've been doing here is giving Josie some reminders that she needs to stay firmly back in her little heel position which is slightly behind Pepper. So we want Josie walking about at Pepper's shoulder. So that's pretty good right there. Anytime Josie pushes ahead, I just tap her button as I say here so that I can guide Josie back into her spot so that she continues healing politely instead of pushing the boundary of her heel. So the trick to walking two dogs at one time is training them both individually first. So I worked with each Josie and Pepper back when they were in board and train with me. I worked with them one-on-one -on, -one on their heel using the remote collar. So once they understood how to heal correctly with a handler, meaning staying calm while we walk, but also walking in this nice position at my left side, once they had that down pat individually, then I paired them up and then trained them how to walk together as a little team. So there's a lot more going on, a lot more to be aware of and to pay attention to when you're walking two dogs at once. But you have to be able to communicate with both dogs, which is why the remote collar is so valuable because once the dogs are trained to understand remote collar communication, if I need to give Josie guidance, I can, or if I need to give Pepper guidance, I can. So Josie is doing much better staying back at Pepper's shoulder and holding that really nice little heel. Good girl. Thank you.